hope you are well i wanted to I ask a question yeah. regarding uh the divorce of uh, a person who was angry and uh, he gave uh, like he uttered i divorced you uh, more than three times in the same sittings and in multiple occasions as well uh, would that be considered um, as a divorce because i read on a website called uh, farkas.app where it was said that ibn taymiya and even qayyim al qayyim uh, they said that if a person is uh, pronouncing uh, in the state of anger rather intense or mild in such way that perturbation appears in most of his saying and action and th- this perturbation prevents him from uh, being reasonable and steady then his mind and intellect are not altered or he regrets his divorce after his anger da- is down such divorce according to the soundest opinion of scholars is not applicable if you can if you could confirm if the uh, scholarly view of ibn taymiyah and ibn al qayyim is right on this or not alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyhi wa mustafa wa ba'd respected sister umm umara normally divorce questions should be presented by uh, the husbands the person who uttered divorce because he knows better whether he was angry or really angry or he was mad or it was just a simple fight and escalated so in this case it all revolves around the intention as far as the answer in general what ibn al-qayyim and ibn taymiyah radiyallahu anhuma may allah be pleased with them ibn taymiyah is the teacher of ibn al-qayyim obviously they didn't say anything out of their mind and nabi sallallahu alaihi is the one who said that when a person is in extreme anger he doesn't know what he's saying his divorce doesn't count whether he happened to divorce his wife once or 10 times under regular circumstances ibn taymiyyah and ibn al-qayyim oppose the vast majority of the scholars with regards to the number of times if it happened in the same sitting and the person really means it and he's not in anger this is where they differ so he says that if a person said to his wife you're divorced you're divorced you were divorced three times, but in the same sitting, consecutively, it only counts as one. So now we have two different matters to sort them out. This is where Abu Hanifa, wa Malik, wa Shafi'i, and others are of the view that it counts as three. Okay? But Ibn Taymiyyah says it counts only as one because it's in the same sitting. And his opinion is correct, by the way. And it resolves a lot of problems and a lot of uh, matters. But your question is about the state of anger, which again, I'm giving a general answer. And what you read on the website is a general answer. Then it becomes specific only when the person who uttered divorce confirms, well, I didn't know what I was saying. I was totally lost. I was like absent-minded. She drove me crazy. So in this case, he's liable. For his statement because if he happened to divorce his wife and he was not in a state of anger which would nullify his divorce he deliberately uttered divorce knowing it means divorce then his wife is divorced he will be okay but it will be haram for him not to consider it a divorce especially if it was the third divorce i.e our general answer in a state of extreme anger where the person almost loses his mind. He's like mad, doesn't know what he's saying. Divorce doesn't count. Divorce is not considered. Divorce is ineffective. Who determines so? The husband, the one who said it. The one who says, I was in extreme anger to the extent that after I finished and I calmed down, my wife said, how dare you divorce me? I said, no, I didn't divorce you. No, you did. Did I? No, I didn't think so. Because he was absent-minded, you know? Barakallahu feekum.